Let's fall on. Hey guys, um, I'm trying different camera angles uh, in all my videos just to see which one looks the best. So today I'm going to be recording from the corner of my room. You can see my bed and everything in the back behind me. I'm also wearing my Naruto and Sasuke t-shirt that my one of my good friends gave me. I'm also eating onigiri, Japanese onigiri. These are rice balls wrapped in seaweed and there's typically um, an extra ingredient, maybe like tuna or salmon. salmon. I don't know if I've had one with salmon, but some kind of fish or some kind of meat on the inside. Um, and I'm starving, so I'm gonna eat two of these bad boys with some of my awesome milk. Maybe apple juice. I bought apple juice too. That was good. Mm. So today, I wanted to talk about showering in Japan. As most of you probably already know, Japan is very much a bath country. Everyone takes baths, baths, baths. So showering isn't really common here. Despite Japan or Japanese people only taking baths, they're really um, clean and hygienic and it gets, the, it gets the job done. That's the important part. Thankfully, in the international student dorm that I'm in, they realize that you know, we're all not Japanese, and therefore we're not used to public baths or public showers or private baths, I guess, I don't know. So thankfully what they did was they provided um, uh, dorm showers for us, and then I'm going to be playing a video of that as I talk, but you know, it's right down the hall from my room, there's two of them. You know, there's a light, there's a fan in there, and they gave us the strict instructions of keeping the door open and the fan on at all times. I think that kind of wastes electricity, but I can see why they would, you know, want that in a shower. So, the Japanese showers that we use are relatively easy to use, very intuitive, not hard at all, and I think this is the case with most modern universities here in Japan. I know, actually, I have friends in a university in Tokyo, it's an international university, but they still have like public showers uh, that they use for the international students as well. As I think the the dorm, the students living in the dorm there. But anyways, I lucked out. Thankfully, my university had nice modern showers that were super easy to use. Really nice. One thing that I did not bring, and they don't provide to you, is shampoo and conditioner. Now, finding shampoo and conditioner in Japan is relatively easy. Of course, it's going to be a Japanese brand. Um, I actually have my shampoo and conditioner here with me to show you guys. So I didn't really know what was good or popular in Japan, so I just bought the first thing I saw off the, <laughs> the shelf. This is Meito, or Merit in English. It is the shampoo, as you can see here, shampoo on the bottom. I love how Japanese advertise because they use automatope or automatopia. Um, some people call my medics. It says skiri, skiri. I don't actually know the meaning of it, but I'm gonna look it up later and probably put it on the screen. So. But yeah, Japanese love my medics or automapia when it comes to advertising because it's a short word that conveys so much meaning and feeling that all Japanese can identify with. I found the shampoo okay. It was easy to find. And right next to it was a, a similar bottle of rinse. And I didn't really know what that was. Um, I assumed it meant conditioner um, because it was right next to it. And it looks exactly, almost exactly the same. And one said shampoo, so I assumed the other was conditioner. Neats. Um, I come to find out, yes, means can mean conditioner. They also have conditioner. I think I've seen that in the um, department store where I, where I usually go shopping. So if you see means um, in the department store, it is conditioner, even though in English it's like a rinse. It, 
it does the same thing as conditioner. So, and this one, the automatope or my medic is sara sara. Again, definition on the screen. So that's a little bit about showering in the dorms here in Japan and what products to buy and to use. Um, everyone, thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, share, do whatever, help my channel grow. Arigatou gozaimasu. Bye guys.